Hey guys, uh, today this is uh, this video today is going to be my part two tutorial on uh, how to use tracker. And in the last video, I showed you guys how to use um, a, to track a pendulum or in oscillations to plot a sine or cosine graph of um, displacement versus uh, displacement versus time. So today, what I'm going to try to show you is uh, a bit more interesting. Um, this, which is uh, using projectile motion. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is just input the video. Now remember, you can use any video. These are the videos which um, come already with um, Tracker. So just to give you a real nice of this. And um, I'm going to show you the Parachute Monkey. Let's click OK. Alright, make sure it's um, zoomed to fit. Alright, let's play the video first and see what it is. Okay, so as you can see, um, a little object has been projected out. And what and there's a monkey with a parachute which has been released at the same time from this and I guess what's gonna happen is yes that's right so they both intersect at a point and it hits it and therefore causing uh, the parachute to collapse and just sending the monkey d straight downward alright so let's see how we're gonna use a tracker on this first alright so first thing now um, because I've uh, in order to make it more realistic let's first put a axis Alright, once I've selected this axis, if I click the middle of it, I can now come and drag it to the place where it's actually um, traject, um, where my object has been, uh, the trajectory of the object. So I'm just going to use a slider and bring it back to the correct position. Alright, so because uh, that's all I see, I'm going to put it right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Now, since I want my time to start from actually where it started from the displacement, what I do is I go you down there and I click set time to zero so now it's uh, set my time to zero as you see alright next thing now I'm gonna show you how to do the auto tracker part of it so I'm gonna click track new point mass as you can see it's reset in my video I can just click play alright it's fine so just bring it back there that was right where it's zero alright now there are two ways you can go about on this so first is uh, this is what I really like about tracker which is the auto tracker function of it normally what you can do is you can click shift and this black block will come and what you can do is you can just manually select each position but I want to show you something else so what I'm going to do is just going to delete all these steps again so I'm just going to go here clear steps okay bring it back around there alright so what I'm going to do is going to click auto tracker now and instead of clicking shift click and doing it manually what I'm going to do is click shift control and you see a circle appear and wherever you find that object click click on it once and now it shows you gives you a template and gives you a match now since this is a I've, uh, they've used a black background there isn't much interference so they, they the white the white object is pretty visible and the computer can track it so let's just click search all right a uh, possible match was found now accept the match again accept it so just keep on accepting it normally happens by itself but uh don't know and as you can see it stopped tracking right around there well, that's where it inter into in that's where it's intersected all right so now what you're going to do is close and if you actually go click play you can see the motion of the, this until there where it's probably kind of lost actually what we can do is uh try it again and try try a better one so let's clear steps uh let's click order oops sorry sorry about that Auto truck, auto tracker. Control shift, click. Okay, and search. And you can go skip. And what you can do is again drag it around. I think you can go like this. So what you can do is search next and there you go search this anyway now let's see what we have now what we have here is um, I think this is the displacement the x position now we want the y composition and there we go if you click this arrow you see the projectile this is uh, the projectile the displacement the vertical with the the only the the vertical uh, displacement along um, time which we have here so what you can see is you can analyze it and now if you want to go more into the physics uh, physics aspect of it what you can actually do is you can go if you go file sorry if you go let's just figure it out all right so if you go 
this is your velocity component. All right. So if you if you right click and you click analyze. What you see is you actually see the points and you sign to intercept. Now, um, what I used uh, for my uh, math IO was basically I had a Mad Minton and I was I tracked it just like this. But now I want to find velocity. As we know, velocity is the first derivative of the displacement time graph. So what we need is a curve. So in order to get a curve, what you click is analyze and click curve fits. Obviously, this isn't going to work. This is a. So what you go is you click parabola, and there you have it it gives you a perfect curve and it gives you um, the fit equation and it gives you the values so this gives you a perfect flow, uh, curve if you derivate this you can get your um, your velocity but only in your y direction not the x direction because it's different this is projectile motion where both the components are separate of each other so as you can see it's, um, this, this program is really helpful and um, actually you can use it on a pretty much um, many different types of physics you can use it for angular velocity and uh, I actually plan on showing you guys some